Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and today we are going to look at how to get this image from here to here without using any presets. Let's do it. Alright, so let's launch in. There's a few things we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working on the overall color of this image, and then we're also going to be adding a couple of different effects. One, the most noticeable, being this beautiful sun ray that is going off of the bridge here. If you look very closely, you can see there is a little bit of a light ray naturally in this photo, but even if it wasn't there, we could still add it, and I'm going to show you how you can do that in Lightroom. Now let's get started with some basic color. We're going to go up to the top and just adjust our white balance. That is the first thing we do with our image because it's looking pretty cold. Next we're going to adjust our magenta just a little bit. I'm trying to get a nice starting point so things are just looking natural out of the gate. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast here. And then I can up my highlights a little bit. Maybe down my shadows just a little. Whites up. If I want to, I can actually hold down the Alt or Option key and drag the whites up until I see some clipping happening. Basically, I don't want to lose any detail in the image, so I'm just going to take it until the whites are white, and that's it. And black, same thing. I can take it down a little bit, but not too much, because I don't want her black pants to be too, too black. We want them to be a very dark gray, because nothing is really, truly black in the world. All right, so moving on, I can add a little bit of clarity here, and the slightest bit of dehaze. Up my vibrance and lower my saturation a little bit. That's just a nice little trick to kind of get the color there without having things be too saturated looking. Next, we're going to go into our tone curve, do a very slight S curve to just up some contrast just a little bit. And then we're going to go into our HSL, and this is where the money starts to happen. So I'm going to go over to my hue here and take my oranges and move them down just a little bit, warm them up towards red. Yellows, I'm going to do the same thing. You can see how the trees kind of take on a fall tone when I do this. And then I'm going to hop over into my luminance, and I'm going to take her skin on her arm, is looking a little bit dark, and I can use this little eyedropper. Click on her skin, drag up, and that is showing me that that's in the oranges and the red, so we're going to brighten those up a little bit. Perfect, that is looking pretty good. Again, it's baby steps. One thing at a time, I'm not going to try and edit the whole image with any one of these tools. I'm going to do it incrementally and little by little, it's going to get that image from where I want it, where it was to where I want it. So moving on, my detail, I can leave that, maybe up my sharpening just a little bit because I'm a bit of a sucker for good sharpening. Now holding down the Alt, I can actually turn up my radius and that'll define basically which parts of the image um, Lightroom is sharpening. Radius is how radius is how strong the edge needs to be before it actually gets sharpened. So if I drag it all the way up, you can see what's getting sharpened here are these really big, strong edges of the bridge, and that's what I want to emphasize here. Noise reduction, don't need that because our photo was taken at ISO 100. Moving down, lens corrections, sure, we can turn those on. Turn my vignetting down just a little because I personally like a little bit of a light vignette. Transform, that's all fine. Effects, we're going to leave that alone, except for maybe a little bit of light grain here. Let's zoom in just a little. And we can exaggerate our effect for now. Bring my size down, and just like that. So there's before, and there's after. Just very, very subtle effect. And finally, my camera calibration. This is kind of the secret money maker at the end here. We can take our shadows and just add a little bit of magenta into there. Take our reds and move them ever so slightly towards orange. Take our blues, move them down just a little bit, and our greens. You know, in this image I'm actually thinking things are looking pretty good, natural like that. I'm going to dial the blues back just a little. Okay, so that is pretty close to the way that I would like it to be. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of saturation back into this image. And then we're going to work on our beautiful streak of light up here. So how do we do that? Well, we go over to our radial filter. And it's actually pretty simple if you have the Signature Edits pack. It comes with all of these pre-made brushes, one being a sun flare, which we can actually just drag down here. And bam, we've got a flare that we can finesse. But we're going to make one from scratch, assuming you don't have that pack right now. So I'm going to go just up to exposure here. Add some exposure, some 
temperature, some tint, lower my contrast because that's what a sun flare does. And then we're going to up our highlights a little bit, up our whites. Clarity is going to go down because we're losing sharpness whenever a flare happens. Dehaze just a little bit. And let's just see how that looks for a starting point. Yeah, not too bad. We'll dial that in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drag this down to around here. And then if I grab this line up here, I can actually make the gradient from 100% to 0%. I can make that smaller so that there's more of a defined line. And grab that middle line again and drag it back down. So I basically want it to be just poking out here over the edge of the bridge, this corner right here. Now, obviously, this looks pretty silly, but it's helping us to be able to see exactly where it is. Then we're going to refine it and make it more subtle. So what I'm going to do now is hit this little brush thing. And obviously, the sun ray is coming over the bridge. We don't want it on the bridge here. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt. While I'm on the brush, that's going to toggle to my eraser. And I'm actually just going to erase this section of that gradient filter, just like that. It's already looking closer. Now let's dial it in a little bit more. Things are looking pretty red there. We don't need that. I'm going to take my contrast back up a little bit. Exposure doesn't need to be so extreme. That's looking better. And maybe take my white balance down just a little so it's not quite so crazy. My whites could go back up a little. And sure, maybe a little bit less clarity little bit warmer. Let's see how we're looking. That is pretty good. Now you could go harder or more subtle depending on your personal taste, but I'm liking it there. What I might do is just duplicate this, drag the second one up to about here, and just have kind of a second flare going on just to make it a little bit more organic. Pull everything way back so it's far more subtle. There we go, just like that. All right, and that is how you take this image from here to here in Lightroom without using any presets. Now, presets are a great starting point. They can save you a ton of time. Obviously, this photo took me 10 minutes to edit by myself. If I were using a preset, maybe it would take me a minute or two minutes or maybe 30 seconds if I have a great preset and I'm just using my preset for this lovely sun ray as well. Now there's some other little things we could do to finesse the image a little bit. Maybe we could go down here and grab our add texture brush which is basically just some clarity, some sharpness, and a little bit of contrast. And we could bring out some texture here. And if for whatever reason we wanted our subject, this girl, to be more in focus, because she is out of focus in the original photo, we could possibly take another brush here, up our clarity, our sharpness, and you know get her back to where we'd like her to be. Press O and I can see where my mask is actually being painted. Perfecto. Press O again to take that off. Great, so now she's not all the way as sharp as if she were actually sharp in camera, but that will do once we zoom back out. Just like that. Our image is done. So that's how you edit this image without any presets inside of Lightroom. If you are a hands-on learner, I got you. Make sure you download the image below. You can practice with the raw file in Lightroom on your own. Until next time, if this was helpful for you, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.